Hello everybody, this is Louisa with Lily Paper Studio and I'm back with, this time with a scrapbook um, layout project and I've already done a lot of the prep work ahead just to speed the process up a little bit and basically it's a two page layout, it's a 12 by 12, um, these are 12 by 12 sheets and I'm going to go through what I've done really quickly and then just basically assemble it which should be really quickly also considering all the prep work I've done ahead. So um, I got this border from Sherry K Designs and I love, um, it came with a package of, of borders that she has for free at her website and this is one of, that whole package is so useful for creating all kinds of borders. This one is the one that I chose. This um, birthday layout is for an adult, it's for my husband's, uh, we, I threw him a surprise birthday party for her, for his uh, one of his birthdays a few years ago and I never actually scrapbooked about it or I developed the pictures but I never really did anything with them and at his birthday we played poker so I thought to do it a little bit of a birthday party balloon theme kind of layout but also d using more masculine tones and incorporating the whole gaming um, aspect of the party so these are my mats and I've covered up the pictures because we can be a little shy. But basically this is what it's, it's going to end up looking like. This um, tag here, it really is a tag that's more of like, this is a top and this is the bottom of it, but um, using the Silhouette Design Studio I kind of altered it a little bit, but this came from the Silhouette Studio from the store and I can give you the number in a minute. And um, these are my tags. These are my or my photo mats, I should say. And here is I'm gonna I plan on putting my journaling mat. And this one I'm gonna stamp it with my favorite journaling um, stamp, which I got from Hobby Lobby. And I've mentioned it a lot of times. It's a Stampabilities uh, journal with a flourish stamp, and you'll see it in a minute. And as you can see, this side of the mat has the border already adhered. I just wanted to show it before I adhered it because had I thought through this, had I not adhered this and played with it a little bit more before doing it, I probably, I like how it looks up here at the top better. Um, but since I already did it, I think it's it would be overkill to have it on in both places. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it behind this mat where it's supposed to go. But I really do like how it looks with this dark burgundy um, paper. And these papers are from the Recollections Mosaic Memories or Collage or something like that. It'll be in the blog. All the materials will be listed on the blog. These are, this is basically what I plan on doing and then with some thread I'm going to put some balloons up here and then these fun elements are some of my favorite because um, they kind of go really well with the theme So basically this is what the entire layout is going to end up looking like. And I am missing one more element which is the the fourth um, playing card there but I can't find it. So, um, But these um, I got from the Silhouette Studio also. These I want to say I got them uh, from the Silhouette Studio also. Um, or I may have bought, purchased them online. Um, if I can't remember, I will let you know that I can't remember. Um, and this cake is from the Silhouette Studio Store also. So these are my elements. I'm just going to start putting everything together. Um, I'm not going to be popping anything up very much because it already has, I've inked around it almost every single image using Memento's um, Rich Cocoa ink. So I feel like it, the dimension is already there. Um, and because it's, I use very thick cardstocks, really good cardstock paper, um, it'll have definitely some depth 
added to it. Um, I will add some string coming down from the globe so you can, you'll be able to see that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started and put the video on fast forward and when we get back we'll have the finished project. Have it. This is the finished layout. Um, I am um, just a few little details that I didn't mention earlier. Oh, and I did forget to do the thread, so I'll put it in fast forward at the end and let you see it. Or probably you'll probably see the uh, the thread on the picture at the end. I'm just going to use some embossing thread. But a few details that I didn't mention. All these papers are from Recollections. Um, even these ones are the ones that you get at the dollar bin. This the this paper is from the same paper stack that this um, one comes from. And this one is one that I've had in my stash for a long time. I don't even remember really where I got it from. 
Um, this is also from a recollect Recollections paper pad. It's one of the 8.5 by 11 paper pads. Very floral one, but I like the checkers. It kind of looks casino-y. And, um... Like I said, these colors are more because it's a boy's, it's a man really, a man birthday party um, scrapbook layout. I will give you all the measurements to the mats, the this mat and everything else at the end on a picture. Um, at the end of the video, there I, I try to put a picture with all the different measurements instead of me trying to go over each one of them one by one. And um, Lastly, the last thing I was going to say is the reason I made this mat, this configuration, is because I only had, I've, I'd only bought one sheet of this paper, and I can tell you the name of it actually. It's from Recollections, and it's called Birthday Party, and I loved it because it was exactly all the colors that we had that I use I used a lot of reds and yellows and blues I, I mean it was just a very generic um, surprise birthday party and I love that it had all those colors and it was definitely very birthday-ish so um, but I only had one sheet of it, it 12 by 12 so what I ended up doing was cutting it in half so this is a six inch and then I even cut it even shorter because I wanted the papers to be to match up so if you take a look my cupcake um, all these papers match up perfectly and the reason it does is because I had it to overlap it a little bit and here you can see it a little bit um, overlap it so that you it seem it looks seamless now is it a big deal if you don't want to do that is it a big deal if you don't do it probably not because it's so covered by the photo mats that you probably wouldn't be able to see it but it's just a preference of mine. The other thing that you did, I'm sure you probably noticed, is when I was gluing these mats, is that the actual mats, um, I used my paper saving method where this blue mat here that goes underneath this pattern paper is not the this entire length. It's much, much shorter. It's actually strips, and I just glue it down just to create the illusion that it's a larger mat. Kind of similar to, oops, I didn't glue that one down. Kind of similar to what I do um, over here where I don't really use a 12 by 12. I just use one 8.5 by 11 and cut eight for uh, one inch strips and then square them out so that they look like, um, so that they look like they're, an entire 12 by 12 sheet because really all you and even when you have a half an inch margin like this one normally I do a quarter of an inch but with this one I did a half an inch even with a half an inch a one inch the one inch strips are perfectly fine with it so it definitely helps conserve um, your paper so I hope you enjoyed this um, if you did don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button uh, for the video if you have any questions about the type of um, any of the prod the products I use for the layout, you can always hit me at my blog, ellipaperstudio.blogspot.com. I try to respond as quickly as possible. And I hope you enjoy. Also, I, I'm going to be giving you little um, paper saving and money saving tips around the video. So I hope you enjoy those also. And I hope um, you enjoy this layout. And also, don't forget to check out the blog and the Pinterest and all the other social media accounts if um, you're more active in one or the other. I'm definitely more active in Pinterest. Um, like I said, YouTube is not... I try to put all of the projects that I make on YouTube, but that does, doesn't always end up happening. So I thank you very much for joining me and um, I hope you enjoy this.